Hello, sports fans, sports bettors, and YouTube Nation. John here with Ricket Picks. Guess what? NCAA basketball is upon us. It's here. It's starting. It's already started. I'm ready. I'm ready. It's going to be a lot of work as it is every year. So many basketball games today. Zero chance you can you can analyze every single one of them not knowing basically anything. Only what you hear coming out of practices and, and scrimmages and stuff like that. Um, you know, early in the season, we try to pick on big schools versus little schools just because they're kind of an easy target. At the end of the day, you don't know what you don't know. Um, so, go light. Go light these first this first week or so until we kind of get things sorted out and know what's what and who's who and who's going to emerge and, and what's going to happen. Um, obviously, there's going to be some, some, some tough games down the stretch, but we're going to go St. Bonaventure versus Cal State Northridge. Um, I think this is one of the... The uh, low-hanging fruits, if you will. Um, you got kind of a, kind of a, the Bonnies over time have been a decent basketball program mixed with the fact that you've got now Cal State Northridge coming in who, you know, can hang in their division, but they're playing the Bonnies. Um, I see this game being like a 12, 13 point difference. They have it at seven and a half. I feel that's a great number, so we're going to take St. Bonaventure minus seven and a half at the minus 110 um, is what I just saw it at. So let's go, Bonnies. Let's get us some get us some early money. Again, again, I can't stress enough. It is week one or day one. Go light. There's some big games going on. Baylor, um, Gonzaga tonight. We're going to find out. <clears throat> Zags have been tough. They've been tough for years. Early in the season. They haven't fared well against top teams. Um, you know, sometimes they get beat, and then people are like, oh, are the Zags for real? Are they for real? And then they have a rough season, and then here they come in the, in the NCAA tournament just throwing bows and, and dropping bombs. So, you know, again, you got Baylor tonight. But we're on St. Bonaventure. We're taking them. That's what we got. Don't forget, check out my Patreon. You get a one-week free trial if you go jump on that. Check out my school community. It's all about investing um, if you guys are into your future and want to, you know, kind of have some insights on how to invest your money, you know, kind of for a long, long term, you know, I, I do nothing short term. Like this is, you know, we're going to win for tomorrow. But if I lose today, I still know that at the end of the year, I'm going to have more money than I started with because I understand the long game. And, and once you shift that mentality to, you know, hey, I'm going to have money for, for years to come, not just today. I don't want money today. I want money for years to come. So that's what I do with sports betting. I get a return on my investment. That's what I do with my investing. I get a big return on my investment. And it's what what can your money do for you, not what you can do for your money. Take it to the bank. What can your money do for you? Roll with John. I can be your leader. I can help you. I can help your family. It's what it's all about, helping each other. You know, maybe you've got, you've got some ideas that you can throw into my community over there that are good. And that's, that's what it's all about, helping each other for the future, today and tomorrow. I'm very focused on what's going on down the road. You know, I want to make sure that when I'm gone, my daughter has what she needs and my son has what he needs, even though he can go out and make his own living now. Get after it, kid! Anyways, hit that thumbs up, drop a comment in the comment section, let's go. Who's excited about NCAA basketball? I want to know. Drop it in the comment section. Drop it low.